All right, guys, today we got a new wing, but before we get in the air, a couple items to go over. So first, thank you, Robert Wheeler. Robert sent me out a awesome um, carbon fiber prop hub cover. Thing looks amazing, awesome quality too, super thick. Um, I love it, so thanks, bud. Next, I always mention at the end of the video, but if you're not already, be sure to follow me on Instagram. I post a lot more there than I do on YouTube, uh, just because YouTube takes me so long to edit. So, at Tom Kubot, find me there. And finally, thank you for the last video. So the last video we did a giveaway. We gave away um, a paramotor cover, some prop covers, and a t-shirt. I got a lot of awesome participation. It worked out great. Thanks to the guys at Fly PPG for um, sponsoring that activity. And thanks for everyone who uh, participated in that. Um, and next, the new wing. So Fly PPG sent me out a um, Adventure Crossfire 17 meter wing. So to be honest with you, I didn't even know Adventure made wings before they sent me this one out. So obviously Adventure makes uh, the Pluma, which is the paramotor that I fly, they make a few others, and then they also make wings. So the Crossfire is their competition wing they market it as, the 17 meter is as small as it gets. I don't know really anything else about the wing, they sent it out to me to test, um, we'll see how it goes. See you up there. guys we're just getting back to the airport and um, I got a nice let's see 50 minute flight in so far so here's my initial thoughts um, first of all the wing is it's it's gnarly it does it rolls man look at it. it's no joke and it I mean this is not all that much break and put I don't want to get too low here all over trees, but uh, it's definitely fun. I like it. I mean, the only things I would change, I'm just not used to it yet, but I would, I would take some, some length out of the brakes. I've got about, I don't know, six inches of travel before it engages that trailing edge. So I like tight brakes on my wing, so I would do something like that. I don't know how fast it was. I was doing 47 with a 10 mile an hour tailwind, but I didn't go both ways, so. It's probably around 40 miles an hour. It's a 17 meter wing, so, you know, however loaded I am on that. I kind of wish there was somewhere to put this. I wish there was a magnet for that. Kind of makes me nervous, especially when your trim's all the way in. This hangs pretty far back, so I've been having to flip it around the front like that. Yeah, it does have tip steering. So the tip steering is super responsive, for sure. You can get it upside down with tip steering if you wanted to. Um, but yeah, fun wing. We'll go over the final, final thoughts when I get on the ground after I land it. <sighs> kind of hard to get the tip steering. Tip toggles back in there. why I don't like that extra brake travel can't pull hard enough with my short arms on the ground to get it to die Andy with the perfect landing beautiful I 
Adam's gotta be a rebel. Okay, battery's about to die. This is my second flight in the Adventure Crossfire. I flew it one time for a little XC, got a good feeling for it. Um, I didn't want to draw any conclusions based on just that flight alone, so we're gonna fly it today. Um, another XC with a bunch of guys out here, and um, since this battery's dying, I'll have to catch up with you once I replace the battery after I land, but we'll go to the GoPro after this. See you guys in the air, peace. Clear. be honest I'm not sure this much wind was forecasted <laughs> because uh, I'm not really moving so yeah guys this is my second time flying this this way this is the adventure crossfire 17 meter so adventure is the same company that makes the adventure pluma which is the paramotor that I fly uh, I didn't know this, but they actually started out and maybe are more known for flying drones. They're not flying drones, making drones, building drones. So they make drones, paramotors, and evidently paramotor wings. So I think Adventure Wings are the main wing that the guys that fly PPG out in Illinois, I think they train on these wings. They have, they have a decent lineup of wings, actually. Uh, but this one is new, and it is their... their it, not adventure. It is their competition glider. Competition style glider. Yeah, it's fun. It's a 17 meter, which is the smallest they currently make. And like I said, I've flown it before, so I have an idea of how, of how it flies. I'll tell you right away that it's, it's, it's a hot wing. It is very spicy. 6.0 aspect ratio. It builds energy like any competition style glider. Um, the interesting thing about this wing is if you notice on my risers here, this, it has 1D steering. So usually when you get up to a wing of this, this class, these, these competition style, solemn style gliders, usually they have 2D steering. Um, so this one just doesn't come with it tied in. So it has a tip steering line, you can see here, dedicated tip steering line, which is cool, but no, if it was my wing, I would just tie the 2D in. Um, I, don't, I don't see a reason why you wouldn't want that control. I'd like to be able to grab my tip and not my main brake and my main brake and not my tip. So I like to have that kind of control. So but that's not a hard thing to fix. You could tie it in if you wanted to. The first time I flew it the brakes were a little bit long. They were I mean they were long. I had six inches of travel before I started to deflect to the trailing edge. Now I just kind of eyeballed it on the ground but it's perfect. I got just a little bit of slack before I start moving that trailing edge, just a little bit of slack, so it's perfect. So yeah guys, I don't want to keep jabbering into the camera. Our plan is to fly out to um, another airport out here, it's called Holly Hill. Try to land out there and then take back off and come home. So um, I'm not going to bore you guys with the flight there. I'll turn the camera back on when we get there. I'll give you guys some more thoughts on this one. See ya.
All right, landed at Holly Hill. That was some nasty air coming down here, but there is zero wind in the ground. So what that tells me is the wind's probably going to pick up. So we're going to get our little picture that we landed here and then head out. So unclip real quick and then I'll catch you guys back in the air. Peace. So like I said, we landed here at Holly Hill, took our obligatory, we landed somewhere selfie. And we're getting out of here because the wind is picking up, which is what we thought would happen. And you can see we got trees everywhere, so we're about to hit some rotor over this crap. And it's nasty um, up until about 500 feet, so we're just going to climb up to above that and head back where we'll have a pretty good tailwind. On the way here, it trimmed out. I was only going 13 miles an hour, so I expect to get back pretty quick. everywhere yeah that's nasty Man, it's nasty up there. Holy sh! Hi guys, we're back at home. We're in the garage. Um, and final thoughts on the Adventure Crossfire. So, I don't know how valuable initial impression videos are. I mean, I don't really have enough hours on the wing to give you guys an in-depth review on it. Um, so I can only tell you what I felt. And the way I like to think about a wing is if I had a pile of wings in front of me which wing am I gonna end up reaching for? So what matters most to me in a wing? Personally, launch characteristics are a really big deal to me. Again, if you remember my Hadron XX 18 meter that I flew, I loved the way that wing flew. In the air, it was awesome, but I did not like the way it launched. My wife is getting home right now and she's laughing at me, filming. Anyway, so what I did is I found myself reaching for my Z-Blade more, even though I liked the way the Hadron flew better than, than the Z-Blade, I valued the launch characteristics over that. So that's just, give you an idea of my mindset when it comes to wings. The Adventure Crossfire, I liked the way it launched. Launched awesome, no complaints, didn't overshoot, came right up. I launched it at neutral trims, I think. In the air, I flew cross country, no oscillations, has uh, you know tip toggles, has dedicated brake toggles. One thing I would change on it is I would tie in the 2D steering. Um, it, you know, from the factory, it just comes with 1D steering, which, uh, which is okay, but I prefer 2D, so I would tie that in. Some small nitpicky things, the uh, trim tabs, if you have your trims all the way in, there's nothing to arrest the trim tabs to the riser, so they just hang and fly back and they get kind of close to the prop. So, if it was my wing, I'd throw a little um, shot cord on there or something, but um, if Adventure were to put like magnets on there or something like that, I think that would be a good idea. Other than that, I didn't test it out on speed bar. My speed bar was all jammed up. I couldn't get it free in the air, so I didn't get to test that out, but the speed range was great. I don't know percentage-wise how much of the speed is in the trims versus the speed bar, but I got good speed range out of it while I was flying, no complaints there, um, and it seemed relatively efficient. So I flew for probably an hour and a half today and burned just uh, around four liters, probably a little bit under that, probably closer to three. So I think it's, um, it was efficient wing and it's spicy, right? So I put it, I don't put it as spicy as the free ride or the Hadron in the air. I put it just a little bit less spicy than the Hadron probably. And that maybe because I have 2D steering on those wings and that could be what I'm feeling. The brakes felt a little spongier than, than the Hadron or the free ride. Again, these are all different size wings I'm comparing. So, you know, take it with a grain of salt, but um, that's what I felt. So it's a fun wing. 
I would not mind having it in my quiver of wings. I'd probably reach for it on like, cross country days like I did today. And yeah, those are my initial thoughts on it. So I didn't even know Adventure made wings until about a month ago. So I'm excited to be flying them. Hopefully I get to try some new ones out uh, here in the future and bring you guys some, some information on that. If you guys have any questions on the Adventure Crossfire or any other Adventure wings or the Adventure Pluma, which is the paramotor I fly, reach out to the guys at Fly PPG. Um, they can maybe set up a demo for you or at least answer some questions. And um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram. All that jazz. And uh, yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. Thanks for watching. Peace. What do you think about paramotors, bud? They're really fast and cool because they don't have fire. What? Fire.